Hi guys, thank you so much for the film. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I have two questions. Uh, if that's okay. Please. One of the things that I really enjoy. Okay. Can I hear you? This is working. Okay. One of the things that I really enjoyed about the film was the absurd tone that persists throughout the entire film. Everything from the performances to um, just the whole pace of it all. I, I just really think that was one of the main appeals of the movie. Uh, can I ask, other than the Kung Fu movies that you watch, were there any inspirations that you took to incorporate the film's humor? Oh, this, this so, toner movies. So, but carry on with the second yeah, movie. Second much oh, the second question? Okay. Uh, you did mention that um, you did mention that it was illegal in Brazil for marijuana, right? Uh, be, was it difficult to obtain uh, was it difficult to fund the production? Did you fund the film independently without a distributor yeah. in Brazil? No, we found it ourselves. ourselves. We paid for the whole movie. Crazy. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we had a Trump-alike president no, for the last four yeah. years. Yeah. Was and it, uh, and yeah. our movie is a marijuana movie. And most of Brazilian movies are made with government money. And, and, and like we are nobodies, they wouldn't even give us the money, even if it wasn't a marijuana movie. They, you know, no, we they, they might give us, it would take a while, we would have to, to fill all the paperwork, which is fine. I'm completely uh, in favor of that. But the thing is, with that team, we realized we wouldn't be able to, to shoot it. So we had to shoot it without uh, big funding. So it's a, it's a micro budget movie. It hopefully it doesn't look like a micro version movie, it's but it is, it is less than 100k um, of, from for the whole team. I really appreciate the answers, thank you. Yeah, and, and, uh, yeah, the other question is yeah. about the, the Stoner movies. Uh, we, we didn't have to watch them again. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Chichi Chong, Pineapple Express, Big Lebowski, Big Lebowski, Big Lebowski line. There are lines from Star uh, Wars. We had some, yeah. some uh, hidden genes in the movie. Yeah. Like, uh, Yoda Master line, a Lebowski, a, the big, a big Lebowski line. So if you ca oh, yeah. kind of into these movies, you go, oh yeah, oh nice, you, you catch that. So, uh, the stoner movies in general. Okay, uh, anyone, anyone else out there? Oh, one of them, uh, okay, so let's go to the top first and then we'll come down to the okay. I think I can project. Okay. Yes, we wanted to return. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, we wanted to put that line there. Yeah. <laughs> we are kind of yeah. thinking about a sequel, yeah. prequel, but I mean, we we are first, tired. first we have to kind of <laughs> sell this movie. We have to kind of get a little of the money back. Yeah. <laughs> but now a with a movie, uh, Brazilian government and those movie guys and the Academy, and the market, we were like, well, they did a movie, yeah. so let's, perhaps they can yeah. let us do another, uh, give us a little money to properly write a script with money. Yeah. Uh, so, so far we, we had good uh, response from audiences, we, we showed in Mexico, in Thailand, Argentina, Uruguay, Japan, a couple of times in, in the US, and so far it's been great, but uh, not that great to to for, to make us make, us sell, to do <laughs> make a second one right away. Yeah. We we need to get something in return. I mean, it's it's not easy to make an indie movie, and it's not easy to deal with uh, bureaucrats that control the the screening process. I mean, the yeah, the streamers, big distributions are not very easy to deal with them. You send them a message, they don't answer. It's like, uh, when, when it's in, on their interest, they play, they say they are from movie making, they, they say they are from this world, they say they are artists, they, under, they say they understand yeah, that we are artists, but on the second day, they're just businessmen. They say, oh, I'm businessman. So it's been tough. So we hope we can eventually make a second one. We are already thinking of some ideas. Uh, there are possibilities, but still we are very tired. <laughs> <laughs> we need to rest and 
other pro projects, but this, this will be there. As long as Tony's ready. ready. Tony has to be ready for the next one. Yeah, Tony will be there. <laughs> Tony will be there. Okay. Uh, should we come down to the front? There's Will, do you want to pick up the mic? We'll come down to the front. Yeah. You actually asked my question. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought of another one, which you then answered, um, about, about how it had been taken up. But I was also kind of wondering then, since, since I have a question, have a better answer, I'll, I'll ask one. Um, it's kind of about, about sort of, you talked a little bit about the, the, the government in Brazil and how see that's been, um, in, perhaps in particular for sort of, for its film industry as well. Is the politics and the changes in politics, is that, is that going, do you think that's going to have positive effects on the film industry? Because I also noticed at the end you had cinema is freedom. It, it's real, but in my opinion it's, it's possible. But now we have uh, things are really bad for you to, uh, to do art, culture, uh, any kind of uh, audiovisual and other culture. We have new laws uh, where you can found yourself find, uh, money, you can find money from government. But, but actually we need a market. We don't have a market for the Brazilian movies. We need a market. Uh, all Brazilian movies kind of, <coughs> most, most of Brazilian movies are made with government money and afterwards they don't have to sell it. Everyone get the money from the movie already. No, we, uh, which is great. I mean, it's good that it's good, good because we can make the movie. We do have an industry we produce around. Otherwise we won't have any movies. But, but we don't have a market for these movies. We don't have the public wanting these movies, the audience wanting these movies, and they don't do shit like they are, the exhibitors don't do nothing, uh, they, they only want to do things for Mickey Mouse, and, and the, the few companies and studios, they like do what they want with the government money, yeah. they don't need to earn like, that kind of money, they are not like sweating when they do a big movie, yeah, it's not like our millions situation. of dollars. Yeah, but uh, in, in, kind, in kind of way I agree with Augusto, in, an, in a way I disagree. Because uh, I understand the, the, the need for a market, but we do produce a lot, which is good, you know, we already fixed that. We had prob trouble during a couple of years ago, that was, we were about to lose completely our movie making, our cinema there. But now we produce around 140, 150 features a year, which is not bad. But the problem is, is still... Um, the fact, it, it, the same problem that affects most of the third world countries, I know maybe this word is not used anymore, but it's a fact. We are a poor country, we're still a poor country. And uh, in not only in culture, in many situations, we end up uh, obeying or, uh, uh, for us in Brazil, it's kind of everything that comes from abroad is better. We even use it as a slang. We say if there's a slang for that, it's called gringo. When you say gringo, it can be a person, but it can be, this is gringo, which is, this is good, because it's from far away. And that kind of made a uh, very bad, uh, how can I explain that? Um, so Brazilians stick, think stick bad about Brazilian movies. That's, yeah, that's, that's, and, that's the stuff. And, and that affects, affects to change, and this has to change with marketing and stuff. Yeah, the thing is, that kind of affects all the, the, the sections from society. And of course, filmmaking is one of them. And I will give you just one example. We, last year, for a whole period of a year, we exhibited 98% uh, of the movies shown on the movie theaters were from far away. From that, around 70, almost 80%. No, only 1% of, US, of all, tickets. Let, let of me finish. <laughs> Just one second, yeah. Sorry, yeah. that's how we made the movie. Yeah, he always does that. It's like crazy. Like in the uh, middle of something, as getting as things, as reaching as the peak, and he. <laughs> 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 And then I add the, like, the yeah. cherry on the top. It's okay, next <laughs> one by myself, seconds will pass it together again. <laughs> but anyway, we produce, two, we only exhibit 2% of Brazilian movies. From, from that, uh, 150, only 40 or 50 reach this, this cinema. Luckily, we reached the cinema. We were on the movie theaters in Brazil, which is amazing, something we struggle and we fight our, our ass for that, our asses for that. But uh, it's getting better, I agree. I think that this new president is much easier and, and they do understand the necessity for culture and for, for, us, uh, for a country to see itself. Uh, 
uh, but we still ages because it's much deep rooted on our society. The, 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 we don't feel like uh, enough. If it's bad, if it's from, if it's from far away, it's, oh, it has to be bad. Oh, last year, one percent of ticket sales were Brazilian movies. One percent. One point eight in Brazil. Yes. Like one percent, point eight percent. Only one point eight percent of ticket sales in Brazil was for a Brazilian movie. Yeah. So we we don't have the, the 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 theater, and when we have the theater, they put you in a, <coughs> one o'clock, one p.m. Like exactly, one, yeah. Uh, one yeah. PM. So your your film didn't brought on audience. Of course, Wednesday one o'clock. <laughs> Good, thank you very much. Doesn't have an audience, of course not. And it's an 18 years old movie, so one o'clock it's kids time. Come on, you know, or some other time. Of, sometimes I can freelancers, but I mean it's not a big audience. It's so hard it's, to get crazy. a theater, and then when you get a theater, it's hard to sell tickets. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I think we've uh, I think we're running out of time. Yeah, sure, so thank you very much. Do you need to do? Yeah, we have to move on, unfortunately. Yeah, but we, we need just, to get prices, man. Yeah, so you come to Flying Spirit, you get a culture lesson, a movie-making lesson, and a history lesson.